walking. There's someone else walking in front of me. This has been going on for a while. At some point, this might get unpleasant. It might seem as if I'm following him. I speed up in order to pass. But then he speeds up too. Maybe he really thinks I am following him. I stop at the corner of the street in order to let him get further away. But, just at that moment, he sits down on a bench. For a few minutes, he doesn't move. Seems busy. He's concentrating on his shoes. After some time, I get tired of this and carry on walking. Then he gets up from his bench and we're off again. Me, following him. I turn to the right and walk another route. But after a few turns, he's in front of me once more. This is getting silly. After all, I'm only walking home. And now all this drama, I stop. There he is, talking with a policeman. Suddenly, I notice my heart beating. How, how stupid. After all, I'm only walking home. Their short conversation's over, and the policeman walks past me. The blue lamp rotating on his helmet. And there's that man again, in front of me. Exactly the same route, with the same rhythm. I'm thinking to myself, a man follows another man down the street. This happens every day, but with endless variations. What's my variation? Now, he's turning to the right. I know this street. It's a dead end. I stop again, waiting to see what he's going to do. I've got time. He's looking around him, but I know there's no way through. He's got no choice. He's turning back on himself, coming towards me. Gradually, he speeds up. For a moment, he disappears into the darkness. And then he reappears, right in front of me. I can almost hear his heartbeat as he runs past. Let him run. What's it to me? I'm just someone on his way home. On second thoughts, bang, bang. Who's going to blame me? After all, this was not my variation. I'm sitting at the laundrette, waiting for my washing. Sitting opposite me is an elderly man, waiting for his washing. He's holding a newspaper. The shocking incident on Canal Street. It's half the front page. One thing's for sure, the guy is here, in the laundrette, waiting for the last traces of his guilt to be washed away. What would I do in his place? Leaving before the washing finishes will look suspicious. Now, what would he do in my place? There are only two of us in the room. There's only one solution. Two. One.
problem solved. I'm not rushed. Time for another coffee. Yes, of course I knew about it. Strange that I didn't see or hear anything, though. Maybe the man with the gun was an invisible man. Such things have been heard of. Uh, yes, that's right. I am moving out. No, no, much further than that. But how did you know? Ah, the missing picture. Of course, you notice everything, don't you? She was up there. My mother. And me. Naturally. She was a dear person, my mum. She used to be a librarian. Forced me to read books till I was 33. A book every day. Would you believe it? That's how I inherited my love of literature. By the way, do you like Sherlock Holmes? No. Well, because you too pay great attention to detail. That's why. Would you like some more tea? It's almond tea. My own recipe. It's a very special aroma, isn't it? Leaves a taste for more, don't you think? I'm reading a story by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. It's one of Sherlock Holmes's unsolved cases. In fact, there are enough clues in the story to lead the reader to the conclusion that the killer is actually... me. One can't really avoid this conclusion. To tell you the truth, I don't really understand. How did Sir Arthur crack it so many years ago? Anyway, he did. Now, what I really don't need is for some Sherlock Holmes fan to read this book. They'll have no problem adding one and one together. Fortunately for me, it's out of print. Actually, they only have one copy. So the friendly librarian lady told me. In order to be on the safe side, I'm going to throw this book into the canal. We don't have the Thames here, unfortunately. Of course, not before I take care of that nosy librarian. Don't worry, I took precautions and checked in advance. None of these events are mentioned in any of Conan Doyle's other books. Uh, yes, that's me. Who doesn't know that profile? But you see, you have no hope of catching me. We're simply not on the same wavelength. I haven't told you this till now, but I am a secret agent. So secret that I am not permitted to deal with any secret activity. My new landlord, who is a secret agent too, although not as secret as I am, passes false information about me to a double agent, who knows that the information is false, but not that he is a double agent, and therefore passes the true information about me to his controllers, who know that he is a double agent, but not that the information is false, and thus falsely presume the true assumption that the information is false, and so I am a secret agent who is not at liberty to deal with any secret activity, or, in other words, just another guy. Which is what I am. But you know, a formula is a formula, and reality is reality. And I? I'm a realistic person. 